Hey guys, the defense headquarters has vowed that the military will retaliate against the killing of five soldiers in Abia State on Thursday. Nigerians, understand, say, while I don't share with this. You understand, you understand the way these people they do. And they no go, go, you know, go investigate those who are involved now innocent people too could use their head carrier i think these people they just have to stop all this enough of all these killings this is too much you are killing your fellow nigerian because they wear uniform they just they now stay hustle than they do just to feed their family members so you understand i know say some people here now they're not gonna like waiting at the talk, but that is the truth. If it happened to another person, it'd be like say na log of food. Whether they wear uniform or not. All these killings in Nigeria just have to stop. And this is where the federal government will come in. Let they let them apply political solution. On Mars and Nam, the canoe's case because I just pity those people in that community. I they pity them, their homes, and everything the way when Nigerian soldiers they do. But you won't come blame them. Hmm. The government of Nigeria should understand that these people who are doing this are the same people who do not want this man to be released. Any sane person that wants Mazinam the Kanu to be released will not be doing this kind of a thing right now that they are asking the federal government to let him go. That is the truth, whether we like it or not. If you like, attack me, I will just say the truth. The same people who are doing this are the same people who are working against Mazinam the Kanu's release. IPOP said. Let them be sit at home to honor their fallen heroes. These people don't use them as a yastic, as a ticket. They don't use them as a cover to commit crime. And they, they understand, say, these people, Nigerian soldiers, they no go investigate. Now they don't talk them. Say they go retaliate. How they go take retaliate now? Because they no go even go, you know, uh, investigation first before they go begin to buy people just like what happened in Ugele South a few months ago. In Akuma, when 17 soldiers, you know, when they buy 17 soldiers, I just pray what happened there will not repeat itself in Abia State. Nigerians. The soldiers were killed by gunmen enforcing a sit at home order given by the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypov, to remember the Igbo people who died during the 1967 to 1970 Nigerian Civil War. Hypov has sent aside May 30 to mark Biafra Heroes Day. However, the defense headquarters on Friday accused Hypov and its militant wing, the Eastern Security Network, of killing. Of the soldiers, I not talk them. I don't talk them with this because they must connect them to this matter. And those who are doing this, they are doing this to connect IPOB and its militant group. Sahara reporters reported on Thursday that the soldiers at Obi Kaba, Obi Kabia eh, junction in the Obi Ingwa local government area of the state, reacting to the soldiers' killing. In an official statement on Friday, the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Baba, said the military will avenge the killing of the soldiers, adding that the military's response will be battle. We would bring overwhelming military pursuit on the group to ensure their total defeat, Edward said. Giving details of the attack, Edward said troops of OP Udoka deployed at 
Obi Kaba Junction checkpoint in Ubingwa, a local government area, adjoining Aba Metropolis in Abia, Abia State. We attacked and sadly killed by terrorists of IPOP stroke ESN. The troops deployed to enforce peace in the area and protect citizens where were marks attacked by the terrorists. The terrorists in three tinted Prado Toyota SUVs and others from built up areas surrounding the checkpoint. Spring a surprise attack on the checkpoint. Baba regretted the attack, saying he took the lives of five personnel of the armed forces in the line of duty. The armed forces mourn the death of those troops as each and every soldier lost in battle is a, a terrible loss, he said. He said that an investigation had been launched into the tragic incident. He said, overall, it must be reiterated that the lifeline of the terrorists is the people and this situation is no exemption. Winning the war without the support of the people is close to impossible. The IPOP capitalized on this to perpetrate attacks on the troops. The situation leaves more to be desired. Accordingly, it is absolutely imperative that the military retaliate against this drast drastly at against troops. The military would be the friends in its response. We would bring overwhelming military pressure on the group to ensure their total defeat he vowed. Hmm. So guys, if I had it now, what's your take on this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.